would have been yet another tumultuous week for Paris Saint-Germain. The reigning champion's position as champions-elect made a little less certain by their humbling 3-1 defeat on home soil at the hands of Lorient. With plenty of controversy in the wake of that. But it took just seven minutes to put that behind them as Kylian Mbappe opened the scoring, rising high at the back post after a ball had bounced off the top of the bar. His first headed goal since August 2021. Into the second half and PSG's constant pressure eventually paid dividends for the second just before the hour mark. Good work to retain possession and then Marco Verratti's inch-perfect ball finding Vitinha, whose initial header was saved. The favourable rebound ricocheted back off the former Porto man and nestled in the net. The two-goal lead finally established. PSG perhaps became a little complacent and were punished by Xavier Chevalerin who glanced home Papa and Diaga Yade's excellent cross to give the hosts a semblance of hope. However, that hope was short-lived. Three minutes later, Gauthier Gallant parrying an Mbappe shot into the path of Fabian Ruiz, who hammered the rebound in off the upright to inch PSG towards a record 11th Liga over its title. 3-1, the final score. Estac haven't won any of their last 17 league matches. PSG put a tough week behind them. Lance welcomed Marseille to the north of France for an effective face-off for the silver medal. Division's best home record coming up against the best away one. It was the hosts who took the lead. Shortly after striking the woodwork with a similar effort, Seko Fafana would have another go. This time, his well-struck effort again zipped past the dive of Paolo Lopez. This time didn't find the post, but instead the back of the net. Long's kept up the same intensity and energy that has kept them in the podium hunt all season. After an intricate one-two between Florian Sotoka and Shemsweb Frankowski, the latter crossed for Lois Appenda to head home from close range. Long's doubled their lead on the hour mark and perhaps put one foot into next year's Champions League. That goal would prove even more valuable than first thought. When Dimitri Payet pulled on back for Les Olympiens late on, bundled home one way or another, the Lons would hold on for a 21st win this season, equaling their best ever tally. In the second tier just three years ago, they looked to be heading for Europe's biggest club competition. Monaco travelled to Andres Stade Raymond Coppa, having lost their previous two games to the tune of seven goals conceded and none scored. They were also without suspended captain and top scorer Wissam Ben Yedda. They were, however, coming up against an already relegated Sko side and would take the lead just before half-time. Alexander Golovin obliterating the deadlock with an unstoppable shot from the edge of the box. Andre had lost 25 of their first 33 games, the most ever at this stage of the competition. And on the hour mark, lost number 26 would begin to look inevitable. Yusuf Afana finding Maron Bawadu and the Dutch youngster finishing well to double the lead. Home side would give their loyal fans something to cheer about at least. Not much later, Vanderson eased off the ball and Sko making the most of a quick throw. Who had Abdeli's drilled cross headed home by Abdullah Sima. There was to be no comeback. Monaco keep their hopes of a late dash for the podium alive. Deal travelled to Rans looking to put some daylight between themselves and Ren in the hunt for fourth. Rans rookie coach Will Still was looking to rediscover the spark that saw him kick off his time in charge with an incredible unbeaten run. Champagne side were winless in four coming into this match, but did produce a spark. Flo Balligan sending a lob onto the crossbar, but finally the ball crossing the line as Marshall Minetzi threw himself at the rebound. Lille had looked effective in attack during last weekend's 3-0 win over Ajaxio, but they were strangely ineffective in front of goal this time out. And the perfect example of that here as Remy Cabea somehow contrived to miss an open goal from about a yard out. A chance with an XG of 0.96. Lille have lost two of their last five, as many as in their previous 16. Ren were hoping to close in on Losk when they travelled down south to face a struggling Nice side. Les Aiglon had won just one of their last eight in all competitions and just one of their last five league meetings with Ren at home. It was they who moved ahead early in the second half through former Ren man, Gaëtan Laborde. In control, Nice pressed on. And even when it was their visitors on the attack, it was they who had imminently put the ball in the back of the net. Under pressure from Terem Mofi, Atateat under hitting a back pass. And the Nigerian not needing to be asked twice, swooping in, rounding Mondonda and netting his 20th of the season. 
Just over 10 minutes remaining. Ren finally found their feet, gave themselves a lifeline. And Jermaine Burijo lashing a stunner pass to Kasper Schmeichel from distance to make the closing stages tense. And Nice would hold on for a second successive win. In doing so, dealt a significant blow to Ren's European ambitions. Those drop points for the two sides above them gave Lyon a chance at closing the gap to the top five when they hosted Montpellier in what would prove to be a frankly astonishing match. So often the source of inspiration for his side, Alexandre Lacazette again proved to be the man to get them going as he fired home at the far post after Bradley Barcola kept Ryan Shecky's initial cross alive. Falling behind seemed to incentivise Montpellier though and it didn't take them long to get back on level terms. Johan Lepinon was robbed of the ball in a dangerous area by Jory Schotter. He fed Elie Wahi and the 20-year-old made no mistake in poking home the equaliser. The second goal came almost instantly for the visitors. A nightmare 60 seconds or so for Lepinon. Another mistake was pounced upon by Wahi who jinked into the area and forced home an effort to put his side in front. enough to see La Payard into the break with a narrow lead, no goals for 30 minutes and then 3 and 11, that nothing compared to what the second half had in store. Leon looked to get going quickly, but after a scramble in the box came to nothing, Montpellier broke at pace and that man again, Wai, burst into the box and was brought down, the referee pointed to the spot. The informed front man dusted himself off and completed his hat-trick from the spot. But he wasn't done yet. Just like in the first half, barely a minute later, he would strike again, latching onto Shotar's lofted through ball, lifting it beyond Lopez and keeping his head to incredibly fire home his and his side's fourth of the afternoon. Unlikely anyone will be forgetting his name in a hurry after this performance. Four goals in barely 15 minutes of play. Leon hit back within four minutes, though. Once again, it would be Barkala finding Lacazette, and Lacazette finding the net. Still, they had a mountain to climb with half an hour remaining. But they weren't afraid of the incline. It would be an unlikely source who'd set up a grandstand finish for the home fans who hadn't headed for the exit after Montpellier's fourth. Dijan Lovren choosing his first Lyon goal in the 70th minute. Back to the centre circle once more. Barcola thought he'd pulled off the unthinkable for Lyon, only for the assistance flag to cut short his joy. Over moments later, he would return to type, bursting down the wing and finding Lacazette, who completed his hat-trick and his side's comeback. A hat-trick of assists for Barkala too, just the second player to do so this season. There was to be one final twist in the tail. Leon working their way into the box, the ball finding its way to the back post. Barkala unable to add a winner, but VAR had spotted a foul on Alexandre Lacazette in the box and after awarding Michel de Zakarian a yellow card for his protests the referee pointed to the spot a 100th minute penalty to complete the most incredible turnaround captain fantastic finishes the job 5-4 Lyon fresh from their 3-1 win at the Parc des Princes Lorient took on Brest in a Breton derby they may lose confidence after their historic victory was clear to see he would be the side to break the deadlock. Mali international forward Ibrahima Kone rising highest to head home, finding the net for the third time in six appearances. And Faithful clearly enjoyed that. Falling behind was an ominous sign for the visitors who had lost all of their previous six league matches on the road this term when doing so. So it's predictable perhaps when within six minutes of the restart, Kone grabbed his and his side second. A sweetly struck finish into the corner. Upgrade that three and six to four and six. Now two goals behind, Lipirat faced an uphill task to get back into the contest. They were handed an opportunity to reduce the arrears when Johan Kathleen brought down Jean-Kevin Duvern in the area. Roman Del Castillo, the man to step up. And a clinical strike, flying past Mbogo. Lorian were then reduced to 10, but despite that disadvantage, would hold on for their first set of successive league victories since October. 
Clermont were going into their trip to Auxerre as the league's most informed team. Pascal Gastien's men managing five wins on the bounce. It was the team fighting relegation who grabbed the first goal. Isak Toure with a timely first goal of the season. Centre-back producing a deft outside of the boot finish. Become the first Auxerre defender to score from open play in top flight in over a decade. However, within ten minutes of the restart, the visitors had drawn level. Saif Edin Kawi would get on the end of an unintentional 1-2 and score from close range. Ahead of a tough spell of fixtures, Orzea had to settle for a point to go too clear of the drop zone. Clermont's unbeaten streak stretches to six games, their longest ever run. Ajaxio came into the match with Toulouse, knowing that potentially only a win would do in terms of keeping their slim survival hopes alive for at least another week. It was Leviole who started the stronger though, as Zakaria Abouklal had a spilled by Francois Joseph Solicaro, the keeper able to make amends. Then a lovely through ball from Fariz Shaibi. Second choice keeper Solicaro making just his fourth start of the season with the initial save, and then Brecht Desreguer blasting the rebound over just as Abukal had shortly before. Jaxio stood their ground valiantly against wave after wave of attack and then finally conjured up a rare venture forward, a long ball, a wonderful first touch from Mikhail Alphonse, but Vincent Marchetti unable to beat Maxime Dupé. Game would end goalless. Jaxio's top flight status remains alive a little longer than now 11 from safety. Nong took on Strasbourg in what was the epitome of a relegation six-pointer. 17th and 16th respectively heading into the game, both on 32 points, separated by just two goals in terms of goal difference. While Strasbourg have been in trouble all season, they were the team in better form and they carried that momentum into this match, earning and converting a penalty shortly after the half-hour mark. Habib Diallo making it four goals in four away games. Within two minutes of the restart, they doubled their advantage as Diallo turned provider for Habib Diara. Show great strength and then slotted home with a plomb. Nantes' winless run extends to 11 games. They're now two points in drift of safety, while Strasbourg move all the way up to 14th. 30 goals in all, though almost a third of those coming in one astonishing match. Montpellier lose 5-4 after having led by three goals, just as they did to Marseille in 1998. A match concluded by a Laurent Blanc penalty. That result, combined with losses for Lille and Rennes, closes up the fight for Europe, whilst Lens stole the Champions League automatic qualification spot from Marseille and PSG extended their lead. At the bottom, Troyes and Ajaccio just about hang on for another week. And whilst Nantes look in real trouble after their damaging loss, there are still just three points covering 4th to 17th. Jaxio's incredibly slim hopes will surely come to an end at the park next week. Monaco and Los can play a huge match in terms of the top five, whilst Brest and Auxerre is another relegation six-pointer.